click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about two issues associated with the semaphore. The number one is deadlock and starvation. When situation deadlock can be arrived and what is starvation and how priority inversion can implement and affect the semaphore to synchronize the processes. First, we will discuss about deadlock and servition. While the processes which are busy wait or blocked itself in the list of the processes associated with the semaphore can go in a situation where a process is waiting for an event that can be executed only by one processes that is also in the waiting state. In this situation, we occur in a state called deadlock. To illustrate, Consider two processes P0 and P1 with two semaphores S and Q. Let us first describe the situation. Suppose that P0 and P1 are executing concurrently. P0 wants semaphore S to be executed and P1 wants semaphore Q to get executed. So they are performing this wait P0 and wait S and wait Q on P1. Now if P0 wants to use semaphore Q and P1 wants to use semaphore S, that they cannot use because P0 hasn't signaled the semaphore S before they can be acquired for P1 to acquire the semaphore S. Same as go with the P1 of P releasing the semaphore Q and P0 of wanting the semaphore Q. So this signal part is done in here but before that P1 is wanting semaphore S to get operated. So the situation is said to be in deadlocked that the two processes are waiting for the processes that are actually in the other processes execution. So we say that a set of processes are in a deadlock set when a set of process that a process is executing a operation that is waiting for another event that is caused by the another process in that set only. So to avoid this deadlock, we must ensure process synchronization. The event with which we are talking about is generally resource allocation and relocation. Now another problem with this deadlock is the indefinite blocking or starvation. This happens when a process is waiting for a resource to be available for a long time. Suppose the process that is blocked and waiting in the waiting queue associated with the semaphore is removed in a leaf order that the last in first out. So the first process to be attached to this list will get last to get served. That is why the process will get for indefinite locking or starvation. Now we will talk about priority inversion. A scheduling challenges arises when a high priority process wants to access or modify the kernel data that is been accessed or modified by some low priority process. As we know that kernel data structures are protected and guaranteed by locks, then the high priority process have to wait until and unless the lower priority process has finishes its modification with the kernel data structure. Things go many wrong directions when the higher priority process is waiting for the lower priority process to relinquish the resource, but the lower priority process is preempted by any other a simple higher priority process that is a little bit higher than the lower one. Let us consider an example. Suppose three processes are available like L, M and H and their priorities are L less than M less than H. That is L is having the lowest priority and H is having the highest priority. An H priority process needs the resource 
that is currently being accessed by the L resources. So the high priority process H has to wait for the time that L is using and acquiring the resource. Now if M is the process which want to preempt the process L, then H has to wait for the long time that after relinquishing L the resource R, M will use it. So indirectly H is using and waiting for a time that M has preempted, but it is indirectly waiting that L is using it for such a long time. Now this case is known as priority inversion. This occurs often with the systems with more than two priorities. So one solution is to have only two priorities within the processes. But this is not implicable to more general purpose computer systems. So another problem solution as implemented in this way is the priority inheritance protocol. Where a low priority process inherits the priority from the higher one until and unless it relinquishes the resources that is needed by the high priority process. For our example, L will acquire the priority and inherit it from directly H, thus when it is accessing the resource R. After that L is finished with the resource R, it will behave that L is the original priority of H at it has inherited from the priority process H. Now that H would be available with the resources R, not M would be run next than the after finishing L. So these are the issues of deadlock starvation and priority inversion associated with semaphore. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.